So today we are going to show you how to groom your Bernadoodle puppy when you first bring him home. This is Scout. He is about 10 weeks old and this is his first time ever being on the grooming table so he is a little bit nervous. If you plan to take your dog to the groomer, I usually like to wait till they're about four months old but that is only if you can hold yourself accountable and make sure that you are doing the training to make sure when they do go to the groomer it's not a huge chore. So today we are going to take him to go take a bath. We'll blow dry and then we'll bring him back here. This is everything we're gonna be using today. You can see everything is well loved. We have used the blow dryer for almost 10 years. I've had this for five years. I've had these since I can't even remember. This is the shampoo I like. And the conditioner, this is just human conditioner. I use this just because it's cheap. You don't have to use that. If you don't bath a lot of dogs, you can find conditioner for a puppy and I will put a link in the description. But if you're bathing all the time, this is a very cheap option. It makes them smell great. Just make sure you do not get it in their eyes. Okay, so now we are in the tub. We have our fresh and clean. We also have our conditioners here, right there. And we have a cup. I am doing it in a bathtub like this because this is what most people are going to have. So keep in mind the first time or even the first few times they might be a little nervous. Just go slow with them and understand that that's normal. Just keep them comfortable. noticed I didn't really wash his face. At this age I don't like to wash the face or get it too wet just in case I get water in the nose. We want to prevent that because that can cause pneumonia so we want to be very careful. I will take a rag afterwards and gently rub for the face. I'm going to do the same thing here with the ears. Just kind of check in there, make sure that there is no goo. Good boy. And then we will towel dry before we blow dry. And 
when you are doing this, I like to try and train them to do it the way I'm going to expect when they're older. So if he tries to get out, if you've noticed throughout the video, I just gently put him back where I expect him to be. I do not get after him. I don't tell him that he did a bad job. I just simply move him to where I want him to be and continue what I'm doing. With the puppy, I will also towel dry a little bit more than I would with an adult. That way I can have the blow dryer on for minimal time. I wanted to take note of. If you noticed while I was drying him, he didn't love it. That is normal puppy behavior and that is something that we need to work on. That's exactly why before you ever take your dog to the groomer, you should be doing these things at home. There are simple things like this table, clippers, combs, brushes, and the blow dryer that you can easily do at home to make your groomer's life easy or if you do plan to groom at home, it'll make your life easy. So you can see this time putting him up on the table, he's a lot more confident. He just kind of wants to run around and he just wants to lick me everywhere. That is what's going to happen. Usually what happens is they're nervous, then they build their confidence and that's really when the behavior that's unwanted comes out. So again, with a young puppy like this, if he does something I don't want him to, I am not going to get after him. I am just going to simply put him where I want him to be. So we are going to get started with a young puppy like this. We really just need to do a sanitary trim, make sure that they can be brushed and get them comfortable up here on the table. So we're gonna have a slip lead here. And if you are not strong enough to hold your puppy, make sure that you have help so that they do not fall off and get hurt. Good boy. So I'm gonna use this and I'm going to attach it just like so. And I like to hold my hand here. Um, if you are not coordinated enough, then you can tie it. I like to hold it that way. I don't put too much pressure on his neck to begin with. This is his very first time. He has never been up on a table like this. So we want to try and make it a good experience as much as we can. Yeah, good boy. So I will tie it for the sake of the video and you can just do a little slip knot there. There we go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take it and comb his hair out. If we use a slicker brush like that, it doesn't always get to the skin. So we want to be sure that we are actually taking a comb and getting all the way down to the skin. This is a great brush if you have mats. He is young enough where he doesn't have mats. He has been brushed out just on the floor before, but if he did have a mat, I would use this first and then I would take this comb, do the wide part first, and then go to the spot that's a little bit closer together. So we're going to just comb them all the way out. And I am going to ask him to stand. Yes, good boy. And again, if he does something that I don't want him to do, I am just going to ignore the behavior and put him exactly where I want him to be. Good boy. Good boy. So 
So once we are all combed out, we can take the clippers. If this is your first time, when you are clipping around his sensitive areas, go up rather than down. If you go down, you're more likely to nick them. And again, we want to have this experience be a positive one. So if this is your first time, I'm going to show you how to do it for your first time. Where I've done it a million times, I would just go quick and make sure to go up. But if it's your first time, we are going to hold up his tail. Good boy. He relaxed there, so I told him, good boy. Good boy. And I'm gonna pull my arm around, and I'm gonna go up. And if you have a Bernadoodle, you can see most Bernadoodles have a very cute little patch of brown. I like to go up from their sensitive area up to the patch of brown and just take that off. It just keeps things a lot cleaner. This is normal behavior and I am just going to, good oh boy. fighting a little bit harder. I'm just going to tell him, uh-uh. Going to hold his tail again, and I'm going to continue. Good boy. Good boy. You see there where he did exactly what I wanted? I'm going to stop a little bit sooner. I'm going to reward him, and then I'm going to go right back to what I was doing. All right, so simple is that. One thing to keep in mind, if you are doing this and he is fighting you and fighting you and you allow him to get off the table or you have him go do something else, you have just created a problem that will take months to fix. So make sure that if you decide to do this at home, stick it out and understand it's not always gonna be easy. Most videos are gonna show just an easy, I mean, a puppy just sitting there. That is not the norm. Most puppies are going to have a little bit of struggle. Obviously, you can see he's pretty chill. He's actually probably more chill than the average puppy. So just keep that in mind that most puppies are going to struggle. Just stick it out with them. Do not get after them. Just put them back where they're supposed to be and they will eventually do really well. So once we have the sensitive area down there done, we are going to go to the belly area. So for this part, I usually will get help just so that I do not nick their belly. Their belly is a very sensitive area. And what we're going to do is we are going to take the clippers and trim. If you feel their belly, you can feel where their ribs are. So we're gonna go right underneath the ribs about an inch or two and we are just going to trim that all the way down. So I'm going to ask my husband to come and hold him. So while someone else is holding your puppy, you can put him down a little, then I am going to take these clippers, going right there. And you can see that this is just a sanitary trim and we want to be careful and be mindful if we have taken longer than we would have liked on the other area, make sure you give your clippers time to cool off if they got warm. So I'm gonna take it down anywhere that waste might attach to. I'm just gonna try and take that right off. All right, so that is where we are at there. So that is our sanitary trim for the sensitive areas. We are not quite done, but even if you feel like this is all you can get to for one day, just leave it at that and make sure you have a good experience with it and then come back to it later or when you aren't as tired. So the next part is we are going to cut around his eyes 
with a pair of scissors. These scissors come in a kit. I will put the link in the description below. What we want to do, let me see if I can get you in here. Okay. So you see, let's come over here. This is his beautiful face. And I have trimmed his eyes before. I just like to go right in, be very careful. I'm gonna pick him up a little bit. That will help with, to help him hold still. Okay, let's see here. Again, right here, if you are not confident that you can do it without hurting him, make sure that you get help. On the face for a 10 week old puppy, I don't do much at all. I just make sure that around that tear duct area is clean. That way they don't get the eye boogers. You can see here, if you trim it off, they will have a nice clean face and you won't get the staining around the eyes. So the next part is we want to trim their nails. I use human fingernail clippers when they're this young. If you use the puppy ones, sometimes you can cut a little bit too deep. When I am trimming the nails for the first few times, I like to just lay them on my belly like this. They are a lot more comfortable than trying to pick up their feet. And I again like to use these human clippers because I can easily see where I'm supposed to go. Can we bring the camera up to show? Okay, so if you look at his nails, you can see there's a part that's a little more clear and then a white part. We wanna be careful to make sure that we do not go past that clear part. I will go a little bit longer rather than short just to be sure that I am not going too far. Alrighty, so this is our finished product. Our nails are trimmed, our ears are checked, our eyes are trimmed, we have a sanitary belly trim, we have our cute little butt trim, and next time we will trim inside the paw pads. I don't like to do that the first time because again, prevention is the best way to go. I want to make sure our first time is as fast as it can be while getting the job done and making sure that we are not starting any bad habits. So again, we have our products that we used. We just have our conditioner. And a lot of people have asked me, do you need conditioner? If you are not bathing them all the time, you don't need conditioner. I like to use conditioner on a young puppy just because they do get dirty more often. They're a lot lower to the ground, so they're more likely to get dirty underneath their belly. And I like my puppies to smell fresh and clean. So we use the conditioner every time that we bath them because we're bathing a little more often than the recommended amount. We also use the fresh and clean, which I'm going to have to start a new bottle because we use it often so we get this big bottle. You can buy it in smaller bottles and I will put the link below. We have our comb. This comb goes in the same pack as these scissors that we use. Then we just have normal human clippers, our slicker brush, our blow dryer, and the table. So we will link everything in the description below. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.